Okay, so we're recording in Fort Myers, Florida. This is Dr. Scott Geller, laser floater guy. And we have a great patient here from uh, Punta Gorda, Florida. You had an interesting situation. You had cataract surgery bilateral back in 2010 or so, correct? You had a YAG capsulotomy uh, subsequent to that. And after the cataract surgery, you had intermittently blurred vision, correct? Did your doctor down there who did the cataracts mention why she caught, thought that was happening? Uh, no. Uh, she just said everything looked fine to her. Right. And uh, you just left it at that, and, and you actually thought she somehow damaged the intraocular lens implant, which really wasn't the, the case. Uh, and you, you, you put up with this for a few years. What, was your, what were your symptoms with that big floater in your visual axis? Well, the worst symptom was uh, at nighttime, uh, the glare in the eye came back like I had when I had cataracts uh, from headlights. Uh, the other symptoms were, it was like a window shade would be pulled down over the eye, and I was looking through an opaque uh, piece of glass at everything. And, and nobody ever made the proper diagnosis, but you read an article about me and went on the internet and said, ah, I fit this profile. Exactly. But the, the interesting thing is I've seen many patients <clears throat> who've had cataract surgery, they develop what's called a posterior vitreous detachment where the vitreous gel shifts away from the back part of the eye. Then you had large floater behind the intraocular lens which was like a windshield wiper or window shade, and another opacity that was more lateral but could come in and out yeah. of your field of vision. Uh, we call that a highland opacity. It's on the surface of the gel. You had, uh, what did I do, four laser sessions? Four laser sessions? Correct. And where are you with it now? That's the question. Uh, I, I would say 90% of the time, it's 99% better. That, you know, um, you know it's, that, it's, that's, that's all that counts. A lot of doctors want to see a, a double-blind, cross-controlled study, which, of course, is very scientific. But uh, I've been doing this uh, for many, many years, uh, 15 to 20,000 laser sessions. We don't need to be uh, that uh, obsessive about numbers. Uh, yeah. We know what we can do. We know what works. Uh, we know what doesn't work. Yeah. Not every patient can have this done but you're a great patient, and it's, <clears throat> it's always good to get the victory. Thank you for being here. Thank you. It's uh, a great improvement over what I, what I had going on.